GamesWeasel.com Review Henry Hatsworth is yet another fantastic game for the DS and another shining example of how great a DS can be if its two screens are used in the correct way. You play as the aforementioned Professor Hatsworth as you perform platforming duties on the top screen and puzzling on the bottom screen. Whilst on the search for a golden suit, you accidentally open a gateway to the puzzle realm and lots of cute but deadly creatures stand in your way as you run, leap, cut and shoot your way through the levels. Once you defeat an enemy, it falls into the puzzle on the top screen. Press the X button at any time and you enter the puzzle to shift blocks horizontally to make groups of three. Do this and they disappear. You'll need to use this to make the enemy blocks go away before they get back to the top screen where they'll try and get their revenge. The puzzle can also be used to collect health and power-ups and to increase the strength of any projectiles you may be firing at the time. Fill up your super meter on the right by solving puzzles and you can touch the screen to wear a big indestructible robot suit. This bit reminds me of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker only not as rubbish. It may require a bit of multitasking to keep your eyes on both screens at once, but the good news is everything works incredibly well. The platforming controls are tight and there's enough variety to keep you playing right to the end. There are also some boss battles as you'd expect, which have the usual attack patterns to learn and avoid. Presentation also fits the game perfectly. It's all very round the world in 80 days, with some funny characters and scripts. The gibberish noises they make when they speak can get a bit annoying at times, but thankfully you only hear this during the cutscenes and can skip through them pretty quickly. If you finish GTA and you're looking for something else to keep you amused on the bus or the train, this could definitely be it. Henry Hatsworth gets an excellent 8 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions, and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com